Hola amigos, welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering hier bij Tom de Housecat. We gaan verder doen met Fahrenheit. We kunnen muziek opzetten. Let's do this. Oh yeah. En pijltjes. En 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. Come on! Nine! Living on the city street! Living on the city street! Living on the city street! When you're street top! You can't let the ups and downs of life turn you around. You got to keep on moving on. Mm -hmm. Yay, meet the bonus. Uh, we'll crack you in. And now you're traveling down the path of life where only fools dare to go. And even though you're losing, you know you just can't let it show. When you're street talk, you got to learn to be strong. When you're street talk, you got to take care of your own. Haha, ik snap het echt. En dan naar begin zeer te doen. En dan begin zeer te doen. En dan begin zeer te Yeah, I'm in pretty good shape this morning. One more set and I'll be ready to get the ring. Full set. You know you just can't let it show. When you speak, sir. You got to try for yourself. When you speak, sir. You got to fight the hell to get somewhere. One. Two. There's nobody out there. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, I'm ready to rock. I've seen you. Alleen maar voor naar links en naar rechts te drukken. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas for tonight's match between Terrible Tyler Miles and Killer Carla Valenti. Oh yeah, and who's always kicking out the crap about me acting like a kid all the time? Oh, 
so you you want to go again? Nah. <sighs> no, I'm done. I'm gonna grab a shower and get back to work. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, maybe. I just want to find him and make sure he never does it again. We'll get it. Guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. Nope. Ten years. Ten years since my parents were killed in a car accident. I've never completely recovered from losing them. You never really get over something like that. Considering all that's been happening to me lately, I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little this morning. Come on, Luke, my bar, I'm taking her too. <laughs> whole life just sitting in the corner. Lucas. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. Is that bad? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way. You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it. Are you coming with us, Lucas? and the others will get caught in the fire. Quick, I've got to warn someone. We've got to save them before it's too late. and some other kids are in Hangar 4, and it's gonna burn! You've got to go help them, please! Go on! 
Get out of here, kid. I don't have time for games. It's the truth, I swear it. Help me, please, you gotta help me. No point wasting any more time. No one's going to believe me. I have to warn Marcus and the others myself. Kurt said something about a hole in the fence. Yeah, I'm gonna want. Wat, waar komt die vandaan? Die kijkt zelfs niet naar mij. Bullshit. Wat? Onzin. Niet en niet meer de pops dus.
Come over, I'll shoot. Who the fuck is he, man? here now Marcus the hangar's going to explode huh how can that don't ask any questions Marcus get out now it's about to explode I'll keep looking for the others You gotta get out of here right now. What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game. You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. Shh, Lucas, you're a total nutcase. Get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a retard, Lucas. Uh. If you don't move right now, I'm gonna kick your ass. You think I'm scared of a little wussy like you? You wanna fight? Bring it. I'll smoke it. You gotta listen to me. There's gonna be a fire. You need to get out of here right now. I'm not kidding. Go on, beat it. Before I break your face, you jerk. Your mother sent me to find you. I'm gonna go and tell her that you're messing around in here. What? My mom? You say one word to her and you're dead meat. I'll deal with you later, freak. What 
doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Ah, oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? Lucas, are you hurt? No, just a few scratches. And the others? I managed to warn them in time. They all got out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. You know they'll never believe that. I know. Lucas, are you all right, Lucas? Lucas, can you hear me? I did a little checking around, without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who was familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think that maybe she could help you. Here, this is her address. All right. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas, but I sincerely hope that she can give you some kind of answer. I hope so, too. Right. So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Mm. Well, some of the elements match the M.O. of a psycho. You know, he left prints and blood everywhere, let himself be seen by witnesses. Man, he practically left his name and address. You know, these guys hear God's voice telling them to kill somebody. That would explain the non-premeditated part. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So... What's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay. I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you going to work on? There's something that I need to verify. As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. Right. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. Okay. Right there. Let's go to the next episode, then, guys. Forget the light even. And on the way. We'll see you again in the next episode. By Feddenheim. If I can get it right. I'll get it right. But good. Guys, later.